What's up friends, Adriana here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I post next. I am very excited because I am getting ready to go on a camping trip with my sister that is not like the regular camping that you do with tents. So I'm sure many of you know a lot of travel YouTubers have switched to van life because you can't fly, you can't really go anywhere right now because of COVID. Understandable. Well, about two months ago, I seriously looked into buying a van to travel around the States in. But I've never lived in a van before, so I thought, why not try it out? There are plenty of services, places that are like Airbnb style where you can rent a van. And I thought that'd be a good way to try it out and see if it's actually something that I would be interested in before I just bought a van and had to live with it. <laughs> Also knowing me, I would probably buy it and hate it after like two months and then be stuck with a van and have paid like thousands of dollars and we don't want that to happen. We're trying to be responsible spenders these days. So I did some Googling and I found the website Outdoorsy and it's very similar to Airbnb, but it's for rental RVs or sprinter vans, any type of like live-in vehicle. So my sister and I did some research to find which van would be best for us. We figured since we don't have a license that allows us to drive anything like a school bus size, we aren't gonna rent that. Obviously also neither of us would be comfortable driving that. And because I am not 25 yet, she is going to be the only one who is eligible to drive the rental vehicle three more months and then I can do it myself. But until then, Thank God I have an older sister. So we looked on Outdoorsy, we found this van, and I'll show you guys how we were able to find it. Okay, so first things first, I just went to Outdoorsy.com, typed in my location that I'm starting, which is Massachusetts, and then the dates, which is the 17th to the 20th of August, and then we searched. And then at the top here, you can put in different filters, and I filtered the camper vans and Class B, since those are the smaller live-in vans that were more comfortable driving. And then it comes up with a list on the left, similar to if you were searching on Airbnb for a place to stay. Shows you all the photos, and this listing was really great. They had photos of everything, and even showed all of the things that the van came with, like the bedding and pots and pans and just kind of essential stuff like that that you would need. Once we looked through all the photos and were happy with the choice, can exit out over here on the top right and brings us back to the listing. It was 149 per night, so not too bad. Then I put back in the dates of our trip to make sure the availability was there. You can see there's an insurance cover and a service fee. There's more detail into the insurance and the service fees if you want, um, but pretty straightforward stuff. And we were lucky enough that we found a coupon code just searching online. And then I also have an outdoorsy coupon code that I will link in the description for you guys to get $50 off your first reservation. And it'll also send me some money so I can do some more trips like this. Also scrolling down on the left side, you can see reviews from other people who have rented the van and all of the available amenities or unavailable amenities if you want to make sure what you are being given and what is not going to be there for you so you can make sure that you get those accommodations you need. All in all, it was pretty straightforward and there was a lot of information that was really helpful to know when booking something like this and hopefully it will be a good experience. So other than the fact that finding vans for rent in New England is nearly impossible it's very slim pickings because it's not a very common thing to do over here right now other than that it was relatively easy to find the vehicle we wanted if we wanted to go west it would have been way easier but because of the massachusetts travel ban we didn't want to have to come back and quarantine so we are renting a van that is in massachusetts and then we're going up north to new hampshire so it is Thursday now and we reserved the van Monday night. So we should be hearing back about a confirmation anytime soon, fingers crossed. And we leave on Monday and we're going Monday to Thursday. So this week I'm just gonna show you guys how we're prepping for it and the stuff that we're bringing. And then on Friday's video, you guys will get to see how it actually went and all of the fun things we learned about van life. 
One more thing I want to mention now is if you guys want to follow our journey as it's happening, instead of waiting for Friday's video, make sure to follow me and my sister on Instagram. They're both right here and you can follow us on TikTok. We'll be keeping those up to date and then Friday will be the video of all of the fun things. Also, this is not a real tattoo. This is an inkbox temporary tattoo. They last for like two weeks. I love the brand. I've used them like five times. They're amazing. Um, use my code in the description for 10% off. Hey guys, so I've got some news, a bit of an update. We were planning on renting a van and it is now Saturday. We leave on Monday and we still have not heard back about a confirmation for our van reservation. So we are prepping to switch plans if necessary to be doing tent camping. So we have a tent there and it's a bigger one than what I did my 24 hour tent challenge in and we haven't used it in years. So we're just gonna open it up and make sure it's good. my gosh this is huge can stand up fully in the middle and there's even space for like another foot and a half yeah we'll each have our own side we even have like a back lounge space <laughs> so like if the van doesn't work out we're gonna be comfortable so next up if we don't get the van we have to bring our own kitchen supplies and stuff to like make food so we're gonna look through all of our old camp boxes and see what we have. All right, so we just took everything out of that bin except for the three propane canisters that we'll use for this guy, which is our little camp stove. And this is all the stuff that was in there. Got a egg carton holder. I don't think we've literally ever used this to toast your bread. Got spatulas. We have, oh my God, these bowls mugs, tea kettle, pan, coffee, coffee and some tubs to wash dishes. We got some plates. Bring them back Not bad. Here. Yeah. We are testing out the little grill to see if it works. Is it open? I don't know. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna stand back. On. It also could be empty. Okay, I say try it again. Try it so again. it says put the lighter over it and then open the burner valve. Okay, so turn the put the lighter there. Open her up. Nope, it's all the way open. I smell it. Yeah. Same. Maybe it's not catching. Light on fire! I'm try it on the other side. This needs to be washed in. Yeah, yeah. And it's right there. Okay. Nada. Nope. No. There we go. <gasps> Yay! 
Maybe it just wasn't tight enough. Before. You didn't have this gold thing in all the way on. Oh. So. Just washed all of the dishes that we're taking with us because they've just been sitting in a bin for probably like 10 plus years now. So now they're nice and clean for us to use. <laughs> been letting the tent air out a little bit and now we're gonna take our right back down. Three. Off to camp we go. All right, we have the tent, our kitchen supplies, tarp for under the tent, sleeping bags, um, some other gear that we'll need, cooler that we'll put our cold food in. Trunk is packed. It is Monday. We are packing up and getting ready to leave. And as you can tell from that, we are tent camping. We never got the confirmation for the van, so tent it is. Last stuff is going in. Check out. Check out this backpack. I've talked about this one before um, in my Amazon haul video and some other videos. This is the best backpack ever for carry on small, short travels. It's amazing. We've got the most important part, the white claws and an inverter so I can edit this video in the car. Bye. Got all the snacks up front with me. Okay. All the snacks up front with me. Oh yeah. Ready? Oh, so ready. Let's go, baby!